start of, start of day two, it's five o'clock in the morning, we've been out for a few minutes. It's kind of a big mental shift in waking up in the fours, even if it's 4.55, as opposed to waking up at 5.00. So today, for the first day, we woke up in the fours. So it's a quick breakfast, a banana, and some cereal in a mug. And uh, get things rolling for day two. This is about perseverance and just about how we work together as a team because today is definitely going to be much tougher than yesterday. It's 215 k's towards the end of the day today, just before colors so we had a nice little pass and it's a little bit tougher than Franchik. So hopefully we'll pull together, we'll be nice and strong by the time. Everybody's excited again, it feels like yesterday. Uh, Red Sox Friday, so shoops to everyone out there. The team's pulling each other along. I think we're all feeling a little bit jaded after yesterday, but you know, half of the course, but nice coffee break with a bit of a rust. Oh, it's going down really well. This is our, an awesome little Red Sox Friday Prezi from our mates in Bloom, who are wishing us well on this chilly morning in between, uh, where are we? Robinson, <laughs> nearing Barrydale, and we hope it's edible. A <laughs> little red. <laughs> I love this country, you know, it's, uh, for me South Africa is my second, my second country and uh, I just love the scenery every time I come. It's so impressive, it's amazing and it's a privilege to be cycling and, and to cross South Africa you know, on, on a bike. It's uh, incredible, no words, no words to describe. I think this is one of the toughest climbs, so the fact that we're all up here is great because it's one of the worst ones of the whole thing. Um, it's absolutely beautiful and um, I think everyone just has a different climbing ability and I think everyone here can climb and has climbed and proved it, so it's cool. I thought it would be harder, but uh, so I put a low gear and uh, just thought to uh, put my head down and just went uh, one stride at a time, so hopefully, but, but I'm glad it's over the, the, this hill. Looking forward to some downhill now and then uh, some flats, but I think later today we have a tougher hill, but uh, we'll take it as uh, an hour at, at a time, so it's good. I've never really been anywhere like this, I've never seen anything like this, like yesterday I got all excited because I thought I'd seen a cactus but I was very quickly uh, corrected that it was an aloe plant. Um, I was going to stop and try to get some of that for my son for later on during the trip but uh, we got moved on so it did, this, is, this is pretty incredible. Like, so quiet, so peaceful, you're out there on the bike on your own and there's just nothing, it's just incredible, so nice. It's 11 o'clock and we're in Barrydale. It looks like we're a bit earlier, so I think we're going to push on about another half an hour and then do a lunch stop on the side of the road. Rich has got a bit of a mechanical, the tube is worn through to the canvas, so we're a bit worried, but we think he can just push on another half an hour and then we change it there for lunch. I didn't make it. Um, I thought it might happen, but it's cool. We've got a bit of time. I'm going to just quickly do a quick swap around. We've got a great uh, backup team here, so we'll be on the road in a few minutes. No problem. 